hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today something really exciting is happening we are getting a puppy so i'm gonna do a little puppy haul and show you what we bought and <clears throat> i'm kind of whispering because it's like and then i'm gonna take you on the drive to go get her i'll tell you so like more about that when we go and then i'm gonna show you when we've got her so it's gonna be a puppy haul and a puppy i'm so excited so i'm gonna this is everything this is her little dog bed so first of all i had it all organized but now i don't so i've got bowls which is all essential and then we've got puppy pads um it's a seven hour drive so we need lots of these for the car and in the house it's not that bad because downstairs we've got laminates loading so she does a wee piddle like it's not the end of the world but um, obviously we want the trainer to be able to pee on the puppy pads so that she knows like she should pee in places and shouldn't pee in places you know um next we got our little grooming glove what else um she got two leads. Where's that one? She's got two leads. So this is her like actual walking lead. Alan, my boyfriend, refused to get a pink one. I was like, she's a princess. But um, it's still quite nice. It's a flexi lead. Um, so most of this stuff we got in the range, which was it was actually so good. So the puppy pads and I'm trying to think. So we got the bow from the range we got this from the range um most of it from the range and then the other stuff was from pets at home so i'll tell you what we got from pets at home and if it wasn't pets at home it was the range so this lead was the range and it was so much cheaper in the range they sold these flexi leads in pets at home but it was more expensive so i'm glad we went to um i am glad that we went to the range first so then next is her little puppy lead Oh, it's so cute. Um, so French Bulldogs aren't really support. I give it away. Cut that bit out. <laughs> um, so she probably won't wear the collar, but maybe just for like in the first few weeks when she's out the back garden, this will be good for her and just like going out a wee pee and stuff. So it's not really her walking lead, but it's so cute. Sparkles. And what else? This is her harness. So this is her little puppy harness. I don't think this will fit her for long. I'm not sure. Um, it is adjustable so it will get bigger. It says it's for a small dog. Which she is. So it's cute. And then we got her blanket. I can't wait to put this in her wee crate for her. I might take it with us actually to pick it up. Probably will. And then we got dog shampoo and <clears throat> dog deodorant spray. She's not going to be a smelly dog. These were both from. Oh, it's not focusing. These were both from Pets at Home, and so was that wee blanket, the um, wee dog blanket. It's from Pets at Home as well. And her toothbrush. How cute is that? Puppy toothbrush and look. <laughs> and toothpaste as well it's mm. not going to be a smelly dog and then we've got lots and lots of treats so these are wag oh, these are wag training treats for dogs eight weeks plus obviously she's eight weeks that's why we're able to get her so we got chicken and cheese flavor and beef chicken and lamb mini bones <laughs> alan was like we need to get a variety in case she doesn't like the ones that we pack our so we have our two wag ones. We've got our dental sticks, again, because she's going to have nice teeth. We've got little puppy chocolate buttons. We've got pedigree jumbo bones and tasty mini puppies. Oh, puppies. And then we have more dental bites. It was really unnecessary how much we got. But I suppose it will last. That's my washing machine. 
um, it will obviously last and hopefully she likes all of it and eats it all so it doesn't go to waste. Then we got purple poo bags. <laughs> How cute are they? We actually got them, this is so funny, we got them out the the baddest. Was it the baddest? Yeah. Purple poo bags from the baddest. And then we got these little face wipes as well because we need to wipe our little face and our little teardrops. I don't really have time for my washing machine to be making that much noise, so I hope it's not that bad. I'll close the door. Hopefully that's better. Next, she's got all her toys. So these are bones. Um, they have got peanut butter chicken and bacon flavour and I hope she likes them. This is to stop her from chewing things, anything, my couch, my bed, my fingers, anything that I own, my shoes. So hopefully that works and then we've got her toys. Ooh. Look. How annoying is that going to be? But it's so, so cute. It's so fluffy I'm going to die. So this is soft dog toy, super cuddly, fun for you and your dog. So all the toys were from the range. So we've got that. We've got a little rope. How cute is this? That is actually so... And then she's got some balls. Small bite for pitches and pups. I hope she likes this. And then a little teeth and rings. Isn't that just the cutest thing I've ever seen? I'm going to take that with us to get her. A teeth and tummy toy, that's what it says. Focus. No. And then another rope with ball on it. That squeak. No. We didn't really get her like a teddy. Like I feel like she needs something to cuddle. But. Yeah. We don't have one. We got carried away. And then this is her bed. And this big fluffy bit comes out. So that's so good. Oh, that's good. So it can be that way as well. She can do one. And that matches my couch. Wait till you see. Perfect. Isn't that perfect? So, <clears throat> wait. She's got a little crate, and it's not for her being bad. It's just going to be a nice place for her where she's going to be comfortable so that when we have to leave her, um, then she's happy in the crate. So it's not going to be like bad girl go to the crate. It's going to be like good girl go to the crate, have a wee lie down. Like, we're not going I'm not really going to force her to go in it, but it is there for her. And it's going to be like a little open door policy. She can go in and out if she wants. And she's going to be a wee princess. And I don't know if that bed's going to fit in there. I might see right now. And this is all her stuff. I'm going to take all the tags out so that when she comes home, it's all there for her. <laughs> I wonder what her favourite toy will be. Look. Puppy blanket. Puppy bowl. Puppy pads. Puppy. <laughs> I'm going to try and put this in. Oh. Let me see. So tonight is... Wait. Oh, she's on my screensaver so I can't show you. What is going on? So it is Sunday the 13th of September at half past nine at night. So we're going to Cardiff to get our it's a six and a half hour drive. 
which I mean it won't really be that bad. Um, Alan's going to drive predominantly but I did say like I can get in showed in his car and we can take turns of driving so we're going to probably leave about 2, we'll get to car at 2 in the morning so that's in a few hours and we will what was it? so if we leave at 2 we'll get there at about 9 in the morning just say like we'll stops and stuff maybe later and then we will go for breakfast then we'll go pick her up and just come straight home um, seven hours is a really long journey for a little eight week old baby so we're going to take lots and lots of things and of course like we if we think of anything we need before we go um, we can get it and there'll be two of us so she will be fine and she'll be happy she'll have food and treats and the breeder said that he's going to give us a little blankie with her mum's scent on it and stuff so I'm sure he'll give us all the right stuff so I'm going to get sorted then I'm going to pack a little bag with like lots of water and stuff for like snacks for me and Alan and toys and blankets and stuff for the baby girl and towels lots of stuff and then I'm going to get we sleep I'm so excited I don't know if I'll be able to sleep but I need to be able to sleep because um it's not fair on Alan as well if I keep him up he's trying to sleep now and obviously I need to be able to be awake enough to take turns to drive if I need to so I will leave you here. I hope you're excited to see my baby girl. And yeah, I'll show you the some of the journey. Guys, I am absolutely sweating this. So for the past hour, I've just like took off all our I said I wasn't going to do a video anymore, but I've took off all our tags. I've put some toys um, in our crate. Might put one on our bed and then I've got muggy bag pack so I'll show you the setup and I just hovered everywhere I'm so excited wait, wait. so this is it's blurry why is it blurry right so this is my bag so I've got a water bottle I've got plastic bags in case she's sick I've got puppy pads I've got treats toys leads collars harness everything I think I'll need. Then I've got our bed, it's all clean and hoovered. Then I've got a wee puppy pad so that when she comes in she knows that that's there if she needs a wee pee. Then I've got a crate with a wee blanket in it and what is that? Um, and some toys and everywhere is all clean for her. <laughs> what time is it? I don't know, like half six. Time half check. Six. It's half six on Monday morning and we've drove 200 miles. <sighs> oh, what a fast service stop. See you later. We just saw the most amazing sunset. I saw it like come up a little bit and then more and more and more and it was at the side and I couldn't get any pictures I was trying on my phone. And then it was in front of us. So nice. Now it's sunny. I don't know if you can see. There it is. No, it comes and goes because of the trees. 
but yeah, just text the guy saying him will be. Oh, there she is. I just texted the guy saying we'll be there for um, half ten. So we told him we'd be there at midnight. Then we told him we, we told him we'd be there on Tuesday morning. Then I said Monday at midnight. Then I said Monday afternoon. Then I texted him saying we'll be there at half eleven. And then he's just texted me, no half ten, sorry. And he just texted me back saying he won't be in until half eleven. Wait, sorry. I He texts me back saying that he won't be until half eleven. He was like, "Can you drive slower, lol, or maybe go for breakfast?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, it's fine, but it's going to be a nice day, so I don't mind waiting about in Wales." Look how spotty my face is. I've got makeup with me because I don't want to be ugly for my daughter, but I probably won't put it on because it's another seven hours in the car. And you're very close to that guy. Okay, well, I'll keep you updated. I'll show you. Oh, very close. I will show you this. 153 meters. Alan Boy. Oh, you're all pink because it's sun. Guys, we have made it. We're in the Welsh Valleys. And um, we've got like an hour to spare, so we're going to go for a pee and something to eat and we walk. It's 25 degrees. Turn left on 4058, then keep left. It's so weird here, it's like Swiss mountains. It does, it kind of looks like like latter running. I look at them as clock cover. The mountains, uh huh. Interesting. Well, if we go anywhere else. Keep left on 4058. Baby girl! <laughs> oh my god! Everybody meet my girl! <laughs> she likes the camera! No, post it. She likes the camera! Will we get your little toy? I know. Happy parents! Do you want to put down some hangries? What? Puppy pads? Puppy pads, I know. Yeah. Oh -ho. Are we update, guys? She's slept and peed and drank milk and slept and peed and drank milk so many times. But she's so good. She doesn't make a noise. She just lays down. Doesn't bother anyone. She drinks goat milk. She doesn't like water. And I don't know what else to say. I'll do a little video when she's in the house and just to see like how she settles. And then that will be the video. If you've got any questions. Wait. If you've got any questions, let us know. I'm absolutely knackered. So we left the house at 3am and it's, we will get home at 25 to 9. How many hours is that? <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. Alan looks very tired. <laughs> Baby girl is very tired. When she's got a name, I'll let you know. But, so you there one more date. I've got cuter pictures, so I'll insert them. We took our wee harness, and of course, it wasn't very comfortable for her just sleeping with it on. Chilling 
with my homies. <laughs> Baby. She's honestly the laziest dog ever. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. Oh, she's been. <laughs> she's so good. <laughs> That's all these hoes. Could you feed me? Take it off that. Oh. What? What? She's so good. <laughs> good girl. Oh, she's got pissy paws. <laughs> That's so sad. So we went down by our farm there. Ha, 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 ha. 